What's up guys, Jordan here, and today I'm going to show you how to make different applications open or not open automatically. Now this can be a frustrating problem on both sides. One side, um, if you have an application like Skype that's opening every time you log in, and you're not using it every time you log in, that's very aggravating to uh, have all these programs open up automatically that you're not using. On the other hand, there may be programs that you open up every single time. You may always open up mail, and then uh, your web browser and then iTunes maybe you always type a paper you know you kinda have your little routine so I'm gonna show you two great ways to uh, save you a lot of time with uh, opening and not opening apps automatically all you have to do is just control click on the icon on the dock of the app that's opening automatically go to options and then hit open at login and then it'll take away that check mark and now it won't open up automatically. Now, if there is an application that you want to open up automatically, you control click, go to options, and open at login. And now that will open up automatically after login. Now you can also do all this through preferences. You just go to accounts, then login items and as you can see I just added Google Chrome so it's in this list of everything that opens up automatically but let's say I want to add iTunes and I just go down and find iTunes and then hit add and then iTunes will be added in here now if there's uh, an application that I want to open up but I want it to hide that application after I open it up you just hit the check mark and if you want to get rid of a specific application and you don't want it to open up automatically anymore, you just hit the delete button. So those are two great ways to manage these two problems that uh, are kind of a nuisance. But uh, hopefully this will save you a lot of time um, in the future. So uh, be sure to subscribe above for more great Mac tutorials and how-tos and tips like this one. Uh, comment any additional questions you may have below and be sure to like this video and thanks for watching.